As Clonus has been an old monastic town, a lot of religions have taken place here. We have Catholicism, Protestantism, Presbyterianism, Methodism, but the main religion in Clonus was always Hallianism. Now follow me and I'll tell you a wee story how to cure this. So it has been said that this is a cure for the hangover. If you've had one too many the night before, or indeed the week before, you rub the relic here, small Celtic cross here on the Abbey of St. Peter and St. Paul, and place your head in this indentation here. And that should do the trick. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. So here we stand on the plinth at the Skullwar School that stood the statue of Our Lady. Solomon in repose, she kept a watchful eye over the students. However, when it got dark, the street lights played tricks with you. And we thought it was like a moving statue like Ballina Spittle down in 1985, down in County Cork. However, the people of Beltorbert were not to be outdone, for in the grotto there stood another statue of Our Lady with a sign on it that said, Out of order. Well out of order. So here we are at the Clonus High Cross, or the Celtic Cross as it's known as, and it's in the townland of Cross Mile. Depicted on the scenes here, we have three scenes from the New Testament. On the other side, we have the Old Testament. But the New Testament here, we have the birth of Christ and the Magi. We have the wedding and feast of Cana. And indeed, we have the feeding of the 5,000. But this story concerns the middle one, the wedding of Cana, where Jesus performed his first miracle when he turned the water into wine. Joseph came down the next morning after the wedding of Cana, a wee bit worst for wear. And Mary says to him, are you okay, Joseph? And he says, I'm not, he says, I'm dying here, I'm dying. And Mary says, can I get you anything, Joseph? And he says, ah, he says, get us a glass of water and whatever you do, don't let that child near it. Ain't always look on the bright side of life. So here's a story about a man of the cloth, Canon Marlin. Now this man had a lot of respect, but he also instilled fear into everyone. Apparently there was talk of him being, having the skill and the power to stick you to the ground. One day he landed late for mass, just up here at the sacristy, and he says to a young fella, he got off his horse, and he says, mind that horse for me. And the wee fella says, sure I can't, I'm minding two other horses. I have the power to stick you to the ground, he says. And the young fella replies, sure if that's the case, stick the horse to the ground. True women him within. So here we are outside of the Church of Ireland in Clonus, St. Chernox. And this story is a, about a young fella that was at school of a Sunday. Now, I wasn't fond of the school in myself, but of all the days to go to school was a Sunday. Anyway, he went anyway because his mother was a Protestant and his father was of a different faith, a non-practicing atheist. Anyway, the vicar asked the young fella, tell me, what was your favourite hymn? And the wee man says, the last one. Oh, says the vicar, and why was that? Because it mentions Jesus. He says, no, it was the last one. In the unity of the Holy Spirit. And as the sky gets drocky and it's starting to spit rain, it puts me in mind of a story of Canon McNamo and John Rehill. It was a Sunday evening, Clonus were playing in the final and the rain was coming down in stair rods. John was out at the 4 ash three, hitching a lift to the game. Who stopped for him only the bowl, Canon McNamo. So the chat got going anyway. Thank you father for giving me a lift and talking about football, this, that and the other and everything. Eventually the subject came round to religion. And Canon McNabo says, I didn't see you at mass this morning, John. In that weather, father. All glory and honour are yours, almighty Father. So years ago when the missions were on, Andy Grundle, who used to sell the religious memorabilia, had a wee stall up here at the church. Very, very busy week. A lot of sinners in Clonus that week, in the week of Lent. Anyway, Andy was reading up, he'd finished for the night, and had a very, very busy night. And this woman landed into him and she says, Andy, you wouldn't have a scapula or a, a miraculous medal or anything like that there. He says, I don't, ma'am. 
All I've left is a wee crack, Jesus. Forever and ever. Here we are standing outside the old Methodist minister's residence. Now, John Wesley was the man who founded Methodism and he preached here in Clonus on the fort up behind us here in 1775, 76. He was here for a few times anyway. But I'm a bit of a Methodist myself because being part of Clonus Drama Group, you could say I'm a Methodist actor. That means I don't do Sundays. And here's a car passing now for Paddy's shot. <laughs> 